Yes, my dudes. I learned the beats, I notated them for you. I filmed the video, edited the video, uploaded the video, and it got blocked by YouTube, man. Now there's not much that we can do about this because I don't own the rights to the music, so that's fair enough. So what I've done is I've gone back and I've made a little re-edit. So I've taken out the bits of the video where there's music playing so you can just hear the drums. I still wanted you to have this beat sheet anyway so that you can work on these beats yourself. But sorry if the flow of the video isn't quite the same as usual. Anyway, that's my disclaimer. Grab the free PDF by following the link below and let's get on with the video. Yes, my dudes. I'm Alex, and thanks for checking out another video. Now, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet so that we can get straight to the drumming, but I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everybody that's been leaving comments and sending me DMs on Instagram. I really appreciate you reaching out. Now, one thing that's been happening a lot recently is people have either been sending over requests or just tunes with sick drums. Now, this is wicked because I get loads of good new music, but I thought I could do something to benefit all of us. So what I've done is I've created a playlist. I'm gonna call it the Drum Hub Jukebox. And what I'll do is any tune that I focus on in a drum lesson, I'll add to the playlist. And then the best requests from you guys, I'll also add into that playlist. So feel free to drop a comment below about the video and leave everybody a recommendation about your tune of the week. Drum Hub Jukebox, mate, you know it makes sense. Let's get into some Karangbin. Love a bit of Krangbin, man. So these grooves are a little bit easier than some of the stuff we've worked on on this channel. So this beat sheet will be a wicked one for anybody who's either a beginner or maybe somebody working on their dynamics or just anyone who's a big Krangbin fan. So we've got three grooves. We're gonna go in chronological order, starting with two fish and an elephant. We've got eighth notes up on the hi-hat. Our bass drum played on one, one and, three and three and. Our snare drum on two and four. And then we're gonna play a ghost note for the last 16th note of these two. Now more important than what we play here is how we play it. And Donald Ray Johnson Jr. is a master of dynamics and restraint on the kit. So you wanna keep it nice and quiet, super laid back, no rim shots, and just really lay into the pocket. The next tune we're gonna look at is Midnight with a vocal feature from Leon Bridges. So again, we're gonna keep this super laid back, man. 16th notes up on the hi-hat. We've got our snare drum on two and four, giving us our backbeat and our bass drums on beat one, the and of beat two, the uh of beat two, and the uh of beat four. Now there are a few variations in here with that bass drum pattern, but this is the main groove. So from here, you can just experiment and see what fits with the music. Just like with Two Fish and an Elephant, we wanna keep our dynamics pretty low. Lock in with a groove and there's no need to overplay. And the last tune we're gonna look at today is So We Won't Forget. This tune, arguably the hardest of the three. We've got that offbeat hi-hat pattern, our bass drum on one and three, and our snare drum on two and four, giving us our backbeat. The challenge here is filling in the space with those ghost notes. When we get into the B section, you can open up your hi-hat and let it sizzle. Give it a try at home, and then let's see if we can play it together with the tune. Killed it, my dudes. And it was nice to play something a bit more chilled out this week, particularly in this summer heat. Let's get this community popping with some track recommendations for the Drum Hub jukebox. Drop a comment below and let us know what you've been listening to this week. If you're digging the videos, hit the button to join the Wednesday crew, man. I'll see you next week.